Okay, uh, welcome everyone uh, to the Automated Testing Summit. Uh, it, we've been wanting to do this for a really long time, and so I'm super excited uh, that we could all get together. Uh, my only fear is if a meteor were to hit this room, uh, we would basically uh, drop out like 90% of Linux testing, I believe. <laughs> so as we've got, like, I think, at least that I'm aware of, almost every major uh, uh, test system or framework or uh, set of tests uh, represented in the room, which I think is pretty amazing. So I really appreciate the fact that you all responded uh, to the invitation to come. Um, what we'd like to do just really quickly before we get started uh, is go around the room. Uh, a lot of us have never met each other face to face, and so it's really good to put a name with a face. Uh, and if you could just Really briefly, we'll start at the front and move back, uh, but if you could just say your name, uh, your company, and the test system that you're associated with, uh, then that would be great. So you want to start here? <coughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we can do the mic. So that would be great. Uh, hey, I'm Michael. I am a microblaze architecture maintainer. We, are, we have Exilings Board Farm. I'm f involved in the Yubu testing project, and we have the Xilinx testing infrastructure in-house. Hi, uh, I am Pune Chaudhary, um, working in uh, Xilinx. So basically, I'm leading the verification team uh, within Xilinx, and that includes automation framework and uh, uh, the test suits. We do both, uh, I mean, embedded Linux, bootloaders, firmware, libraries, everything. OK, great. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Yuichi Sakurai from Denso Ten in Japan. Uh, I'm working on AGL advisory board member and uh, developer in AGL. And uh, our company using Fuego and Lava in real IVR system uh, developing. So we are uh, many contribution to Fuego and other test framework to continue. Thank you. Thanks. <coughs> So good morning, everybody. So uh, my name is Him. I'm a Renaissance developer. And uh, in our company, we uh, utilize the uh, Fuego, uh, Lava, Kernel CI, and also some database solution in order to integrate everything together so that <coughs> we can verify our uh, Linux platform. And also, uh, uh, we try to uh, uh, develop, develop something that uh, we can support to uh, control the hardware automatically so that uh, we can uh, integrate with the Lava, so that uh, the test automation will be more uh, efficient. Thank you. Thanks. Good morning, I'm Jan Lübbe from Pangotronics. I'm the de developer of LabGrid, and uh, we're also running a kernel CI lab based on Lava. Hello, good morning, I'm Chris Fieger, also from Pangotronics. Um, yeah, I'm a hardware developer, so I care about all the hardware you need to, to interface with your boards at Pingotronics, build the USB SD mocks you maybe heard about, and we have some other projects in the pipeline. And yeah, so I'm, I'm basically hardware support for all the, the, the fancy testing software you have. <laughs> hey, good morning, my name is Nobuhiro Yamas. I'm working on uh, Cybertrust in Japan. My, my work is a uh, kernel development at Ubit, and, uh, and uh, my company is using uh, Lava and kernel CI. Yeah, hello, I'm Jan Simon Müller. I'm with the Linux Foundation working on automotive grade Linux. And I'm uh, taking care of the CI process in AGL. So we are using uh, Lava, Fuego, and um, as well as kernel CI. So, yep. So I'm Tim Orling from Intel. Uh, I work on Yocto Project. Uh, we do testing with Lava, TCF, some other things that are internal. Um, I also work on CI a lot, so Jenkins and uh, BuildBot. So you know, I care about all things testing. <laughs> and my name is Geert Uitroeven. I'm uh, doing uh, contract work for Renesas for upstream Linux kernel work. I presented about setting up a board form before, and uh, recently I became a LTSI sub-maintainer. Uh, hello, I am <coughs> Aisha Ferrazzi from Cybertrust Japan. 
uh, I'm the current Gentoo kernel pr uh, project leader. <coughs> and Gentoo kernel is working uh, with a continuous integration system called the Gentoo kernel CI. And I am also today helping representing Billbot, but provisionally. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. So, <laughs> hello. Uh, <laughs> thank okay. you. Thank you. <coughs> hello, everyone. Uh, good morning. So I'm Philip, uh, coming from China, Shanghai, and I'm working at Intel. Currently maintains the Zero Day CI that I took over from uh, Feng Guang, the initial creator, about three years ago. So I'm pretty uh, enjoy it. Yeah, thanks. Hi, I'm Heiko from Denks and um, created Teapot because I researched a way to automate the boring tasks of a developer's day. And yes. That's it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So I'm Richard Purdy. I'm the Bjorkta project architect. I've spent about the past 10 years, I guess, trying to sort of automate Linux testing through the Bjorkta project. I maintain the auto builder. And I've also been responsible for p-test. So, okay. Yep. Hello. Um, my name is Daniel. I work for Toshiba in Japan. And I'm a contributor to the Fuego project, in particular, uh, to the LTP uh, test wrapper, and uh, I'm also working on a kernel CI uh, code for submitting the results to kernel CI. And I'm also integrating K-Test with Fuego to uh, be able to do bisects and other functionality. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, my name is Yoshi uh, from Toshiba. I work in Daniel and also working for a uh, civil infrastructure platform and uh, core embedded Linux project uh, hosting this one. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Takuo Koguchi. I'm in, uh, working for Hitachi in Japan and uh, as a uh, civil infrastructure platform project member, I'm testing uh, uh, CAP kernel with, uh, using Fuego and uh, I tr I'm trying to contribute to Fuego. <laughs> <coughs> Hi, my name is Tsukikazu Shibata, uh, working for NEC. I'm a project lead of LTSI. And uh, Fuego is come from, uh, uh, initial code of Fuego is come from LTSI. Thank you. <coughs> Hello, I'm Shu Sam, so I'm from Kalaba. We're our LT core OS team. Um, so we help our customers building everything related to an operating system and, of course, also testing that, which is kind of useful. Um, I've contributed to Lava, I've contributed to Kernel CI, but Kalaba was quite early contributor, I think, and uh, well, interested in all things testing mm. and improving the state of that. Right. Thank you. Hi, I'm Manuel. We are, I'm from Linotronics, and we run a CIRT uh, test farm for integration testing of the RT preempt patch, um, do hardware tests and several reports for that. And we are the people behind R4D, so the plugin you can use to control hardware with Libvirt. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm from Fujitsu, China, Nanjing. And I'm focused on Fugo, GTA, Lava, and uh, HOCI repo related, uh, related uh, features, uh, affairs. And then, um, thank you. <coughs> Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Hiro Takamoto. I, I, I work for Mitsubishi Electric, and I'm uh, I'm also an ATSI committer. And our company uses uh, Fuego uh, to detect the factor of uh, delay, uh, especially in terms of uh, real-time performance tuning. So thank you. Hello, I'm Dmitry Vyuka from Google. I work on Syscaller and Sysbot, which is kernel fuzzing. So we test mainly upstream, but also some of the stable and internal trees. Good morning. Uh, I'm Jules Wasilewski from Linaro. Uh, um, I started LKT project, and uh, it consists of uh, Lava, Squad for reporting, and a couple of other minor things for executing the test mainly on stable kernels. Morning, I'm Cyril Hrubish. I work for the SUSE and I maintain the LTP and that's half of my job and the second half is taking care of the stability of the enterprise kernel. So we have automation framework but that is quite different for what you have. Basically we test on virtual machines mostly and so on. 
So yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you. Uh, hello, <coughs> my name is Paweł Wieczorek. Uh, I work for uh, Samsung R&D Poland. I develop uh, Slav framework, uh, which uses MaxPy boards for uh, board farm. Hello, I'm Andrew Murray. I recently started work for ARM, but prior to that I was at Wotechia where I set up a board farm that we use for ad hoc testing, uh, remote access to development boards, and a kernel CI farm. Um, I did a talk at ERC last year called Farming Together, which kind of called for us to come together, which kind of triggered this, so that's why I'm here. Hello, good morning. I'm Dan Rue, I work for Lenaro, and I work on LKFT and kernel CI, um, and I'm really interested in testing stable trees, mainline, next, upstream trees, and uh, making the kernel uh, better. Hello, my name is Anders Oxel, and I'm working for Lenora as well, and the same as Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, morning, I'm Matt Hart. I'm also <coughs> work for Lenora. I'm on the kernel validation team I was formerly on the Lava team, and so I'm a Lava maintainer, and I'm also involved in the kernel CI project, pretty much as the builds infrastructure guy. I'm Gunter Rock, uh, working for Google, and I'm maintaining kerneltests.org. Uh, I'm Mark Brown. I do stuff with kernel CI, and I'm an upstream kernel developer as well. Uh, I work for Lenora. Morning, uh, Carlos Hernandez. I work for uh, Texas Instruments um, and a framework called OpenTest. We also interact with kernel CI in the past and Lava. Um, morning, my name is Alejandro Hernandez. I work with Texas Instruments also. I work with him, so whatever he said. <laughs> um, yeah, OpenTest, uh, kernel CI, and um, kernel testing. Okay, thank you. Um, as you can see, if you've been listening, we have a huge number of companies represented, huge number of uh, test frameworks, over 20 uh, different test systems or frameworks. But you um, forgot me. Oh, go oh, yeah. ahead. Yeah. <laughs> and we invited Kevin to our meeting as well. <laughs> Hi, my name's Kevin Hillman. I, I was one of the original developers behind Kernel CI, and I still do a lot of work on Kernel CI. I'm also upstream kernel maintainer. I work for Bay Libra where we work on embedded Linux projects for our customers and I help do the testing work for those as well. So, and technically I'm a co-organizer co of this conference, although Tim did all, Tim did all. If, if it turns out great, I'm a co-organizer. If you don't <laughs> like it, Tim did all the work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a short introduction. Well, we'll see how short it is. But um, I, I want to start with apologies because uh, if you're like me, uh, and you've been doing testing for at least a couple years now, uh, you have all kinds of ideas in your head uh, that you've been thinking about for years about how things could get better. And unfortunately, we only have one day in this summit, and there's just no way we're going to have time to cover every idea that everyone has. In fact, we don't even have time for, for people to stand up and, and kind of lay out their own framework. Uh, hopefully, the ideas of your framework will come out as we go through uh, different discussion topics that we covered today. But I apologize in advance for the frustration. You may leave here thinking, oh, I didn't get to say, you know, X, Y, Z that I've been thinking about for like 10 years. Uh, trust me, I'm in the same boat. I, I wrote some slides and I had to trim a bunch of stuff out that yeah, I still think is super important, but we just won't have time to get to today. Um, so my apologies for that. Um, so the goals for today, uh, I think we really just want to approach a common understanding of uh, the problem space uh, and discuss an overarching framework. What I'd like to get out of this, I think what Kevin and I have discussed this, is uh, we'd like to at least get on the same page in terms of concepts. Uh, we don't have to all agree exactly how things are implemented. We don't all have to switch to like Golang or something. Uh, <laughs> that's not the goal. Uh, but if we can develop a common terminology so that when we're uh, talking about stuff on the list that we're, you know, at least communicating more effectively um, and learn a little bit about other people's systems uh, and maybe um, uh, learn about how other thing, systems solve problems and learn about problems that we haven't even thought about uh, that our systems are not actually uh, solving now. Um, 
and then hopefully create some kind of path for the future. So um, <coughs> I, have, I have something that I want to go off on a little bit of a tangent on. <coughs> Excuse me. So I don't know if you saw this ribbon. I'm going to talk about this ribbon. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is a meta uh, presentation at this point. So I got this ribbon for my birthday uh, from my sister. And, uh, and I want to talk about it. So this ribbon, I almost threw it in the trash, right? It was wrapped around a little gift that my sister gave me. And I almost threw it in the trash, but uh, I happened to be reading a book that made me think about this stuff. This ribbon is actually a miracle of modern technology, right? There are a number of dyes involved. Uh, there's a metal rim on it. Um, it's got fabric. Um, I actually don't know what country it was manufactured in, but it was... Um, it was distributed to wherever my sister purchased it, um, and she bought it and wrapped it up. And I'm sure this is under a dollar, okay? If you think about that, that is absolutely amazing, okay? That there are th literally thousands of people and processes that went into making this ribbon, and I almost threw it in the trash because it was so cheap, okay? <laughs> um, I want to contrast that to this TV show that they had on, uh, in, on American TV. It's called Alone. And they take 10 people and they, and they put them out in the wilderness completely alone. They're at least a couple of miles from the nearest uh, other person or rescue or anything. They give them a little GoPro and they see how long they can survive. They get to pick 10 modern items to take with them, like an axe or a bow or something. And the longest someone has ever survived on the show on Alone is 87 days. Um, and it's, it's, it's kind of the same lesson as the ribbon, except an exact opposite. It turns out that when you have no collaboration, no exchange with other human beings, everything becomes exceedingly costly, okay? And, and literally, people re were reduced to eating bark, okay? It was really sad on this. <laughs> the guy who ate bark actually won the competition that year, but anyway. <laughs> uh, but he, he did not feel good.